Let's see. So this method causes the dragon to breathe fire in a swath area. Target area centered at XY stretches to the fire range. For each unit in the unit's array, append that unit to a list if the unit is within that blast. Okay, got it, got it. So what 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 do we get with the units array? Let me just see what, what it is. If it's if it's like a like a list of objects or what it is, right? So we'll say units. Let's just see the data for a sec. What's this? What's going on? The none type is uh, iterable. X1, X2, X1, X2, self position. Uh huh. Let's just return uh, for right now. Nope, that's not us. Okay. Let's just return one. Just something. Nope. Uh, I'm just trying to see what the units thing is. Can, can, can we not? Can we not right now? Can we, can we just? Can we just? not do this okay so let's see so type int is not iterable okay what about this let's just do that okay so boom so our units looks like it comes in as a object great and we were expecting c on an andrew so let me do this real quick let's just identify what one unit is we, we don't get a type they just they just throw throw it on us here's a bunch of units don't even see the oh duh <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that is too funny that is too funny okay so we have the name of the okay got it these are these are the units we're, we're we're building the units here okay okay great 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 and then it looks like we have our our coordinates and all that stuff so we could say self dot position x so this would be one unit okay okay got it got it okay okay Whew, you know what I mean? It just, just. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So, okay. So for each of the units in the array, append that unit in the list if it's within the blast. So we do have the in area built out for us. I don't know. Well, let's 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 just chip away. Let's just let's just chipper and chapper. So so the first thing that we need to do is find the fire range and the position of it. So I think does that get initialized for us? Do they build that so the self dot breathe fire and this method the dragon breathes a swath of fire so the target area let's see so target area is going to start at xy uh let's see so xy one one and then if we just multiplied it by the fire range let's see let's print the fire range real quick it looks like that's going to be two coordinates for us so that helps okay so let's print that ball fire range uh so it might just be three Here, but okay, so it is just three. Now that doesn't really help. I don't, well, or does it? So we have, we have X and Y. So if we're given X and Y, so two, three. So let's, let's dummy this out. So two, three would be right here. And the fire range is three. So that it needs to go up three, down three, left three, right three. Is that what I'm understanding? <clears throat> so that's a big fire range. That would be whole kind of square and more, right? So if we started here, oh boy. Oh boy, let's think. Let's think. Okay, so print x y. So that's our first coordinate. So the coordinate is here. <clears throat> so that just gives us the up, down, left, right. Okay. So, but is that the smartest way to do it? To like get the coordinate. So the coordinate is two three. The fire range is three. So then we need to. I'm, I'm trying to think. Do I do I have to build all four vertices? Basically, is what I'm saying. So. Uh, let's see, the one vertice one, right, is going to be x, y coordinate. So that's plus y. V1 would be x plus 3, right? We'd say y plus 3, right? Then we'd have minus 3 and then y minus 3. I think, I think that's all of them, right? So that's our first vertice. That's our second vertice. And that's our fourth vertice. So that's our square believe so let's see v uh, one let's just see where we're at with things real quick v2 v3 v4 boom so we have all of our square points now uh so like v3 we had something go oh i just need to pop in y right here so does that does that add up does that make sense though let's let's play let's let's devil's avocados it out right so i'm gonna fire range one just so we can see it on the graph so we're gonna have a much smaller range here or they should boom okay so oh you know what this good good thing we actually did that because this needs to be this the fire range okay so instead of three 
we need to do the fire range. I'm sure there's some programmatic way to do this where I'm not typing it all out like this, but tomato, tomato. Okay, so boom. And then now if we just hard code our fire range to one, we should see those coordinates change, which we do. So let's play this out. So, so, the, the, so the original coordinate is two, three. So boom, we're two, three. Fire range is just one. So our first vertice, we really need to find the, the corners, I feel like more so than the vertices, but tomato, tomato, we'll get there. Um, so three, three, or two, three is our first bit. And then this is one vertice, so three. I wish there was like a drawing deal. Do, do we have a Cardison plane drawer? <laughs> we'll have to visualize this out. We'll have to visualize this out. But so we have we have two three, so right here, roughly, or two three up here, one of the one of the two. Really the concept matters more so than the, the, the real thing. But so we have three three for the first vertice, which would be over here. We have three four, which would be the second vertice. So that's not necessarily gonna work. So we're actually building a square. So it needs to so the so the I see, I see. So, so this whole thing needs to be offset by the width of the square. I, yeah. So, so we could do fire range divided by two. Would that actually work? Yeah, I think, I think so. Right? Yeah. Self the fire range, and we need to divide this by two. Get the middle, right? Pretty sure that's how it conceptually works. I've done, I've done the math in my brain, folks. I've done it. I've done it. Okay, so the fire range, even if we, we, can, we can accept decimals, that's perfectly fine. But we need to find the center. So, so, so the reason why I did the 2, 3 is because we were drawing the square here, right? So let's just pretend the coordinate was right here. Like, let, let's just play out this real one, right? So the, the coordinate is 1, 1, right? So we're past in 1, 1. Let's ignore all this stuff. <laughs> so, so if I go and the, the range here looks like it's 1, for the range. So I would say vertice one is X, so one, plus the fire range, so one, so it's two, um, out of by two, so it's one, and then the coordinate of Y. What's the coordinate of Y on this? It would just be one. Okay, so, so, so hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold, hold the phone, hold the phone, folks. So, so let's play this out one more time. So vertice, print one, two, three, four, Let's just go ahead and hard code these fire ranges. And so we'll say, I believe this is fire range of, of one, right? And the unit, the position, we'll just go ahead and hard code this to one and one. Can we not do that? I, I think I think this is actually it though. I, I really do. Okay, so so breathe fire is this deal. We'll just roll with it. I, I think I think it actually is correct. Hopefully. I, th I think I think it's proper. So basically we need to, so these are our are, are, would these then be the coordinates? Oh, my brain right now. My brain just just try to conceptualize this. I need a little little cardus and plane I can draw. But okay, so 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 x plus so so the the range is one plus the fire range is two. Okay, so that gets us there. Oh, you know what? I don't think we do need to divide it. Okay, okay. So so let's let's roll this roll this back one more time. So our, our point, right? Maybe this is point one. So so we have x, so x is one, plus the fire range, which is one. So then let's pop it over here. And then y would also be one. So x would be two, this would be one. So this would get us the central point right here, but we need we need the points here and here, <clears throat> I think. Or we could get a square, right? Because we have all four vertices. So so that, that'll be a, be a square, right? How do we find? So so this would be vertice one. So that would be the right side, right? So I guess technically we only need these two, right? Because we just need that, which would then... So hold on. So so we have one plus the fire range. So we're at two already. And then we're, we're at the Y point. Do I also just add the fire range to Y? So that would be one point. So that would be... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. that. That seems appropriate. Okay. So that would be coordinate one. Chord one, right? Or one of the coordinates, right? I should say. And then that would then mean I've done the the math in my brain, folks. The coordinate two would would then be subtracted, right? So that would be the second coordinate. And those now we're just looking at a similar thing here, right? So second coordinate would be well, let's let's print these. So print chord one and chord two. Let's run it, run it, run it. We don't have that anymore, so let's delete it. Okay, so both chord one, chord two. So that is uh -huh. what we're saying. And then we need to pass in 
oh, in area, you know what? We did need the emergency flat. <laughs> but you know what? I, I, I think this will actually work. I think this will actually work. So then we could, we could take units, four units in units. We say units dot in area. And which, which coordinate is this? This is technically actually backwards. So we, this is our bottom left coordinate. This is our top right one. Okay, so let's say chord one at the zeroth position is going to be our uh, first one. And then chord two at the zeroth position will be our second one. And our first position there, boom. Okay, so that's our X1, X, I think, I think, I think, I think. So that would be X1. What's X1 again? Is X1 the... Uh, Oh, X1 is our bottom left. Okay, so this would be bottom left. Yeah, okay, okay, that would be bottom left. Okay, so that's our bottom left coordinate. Maybe I could say that, but uh, we'll leave it for now. And let's see, so for unit is that, and that if unit is an area, if unit in area, this is what we do, right? So append to a new list, Say so we'll say blasted. <laughs> blasted, bow. Blasted depend units and then we return blasted. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna freaking lose my crap. I was gonna say, oh golly. Oh golly. Oh, I see. I see. So this is this is not a tuple, uh, but now it is, or at least now it's this is a tuple, right? So can we can I just change change these out to a zero? Will that will that work? Is this is this how you could actually do a tuple? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, either way, I guess I don't really need that bit. Then I can just do this. So coordinate one. Oops. Coordinate one would be this. Uh, coordinate two looks like it would just be this, but with y. Coordinate, or or the second of the coordinate ones, <clears throat> this would be this one, and this would be this one, right? But y and plus. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully, done all correctly, right? Hopefully, this is done all proper. Let's run it. Let's run it. Self dot position x. Where is this unit position x? Has no attribute. What do you mean? What do you mean? Line eight. Okay, so self dot x. Oh, I see up here. So wait, we're at a different deal. It has unit object has no attribute position x. Oh, I spelled position wrong. Love it. Love it. <laughs> Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. But come on, come on. That was badass. That was badass. I. I, I almost want to end it on that. That was that was epic. You know, that was freaking badass. Golly, golly, golly. All that wrestling and wrestling, all that Carnison playing, and you're talking to the Carnison playing G, you know? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. That was so epic. That was that was freaking just Okay, okay. Now now I feel like this one's gonna humble us a bit, you know? Um, and then we're on to the challenges. So, so, so let's, let's, let's try to run through. I'm, I'm running pretty deep on this episode. It's, it's 50, 50 minutes or so, uh, it's before I cut it all up. So I'm, I'm debating, do I, do I continue? Do I end on that glorious note? You know what I mean? Do I, do I end on that? And then we do a second one where I just keep pushing. I'll, I'll, I'll keep pushing. We'll, we'll iron this thing out. We'll, we'll get it done. It might be a longer one, but most an important one. So, okay. So we have written a lot of classes so far, but we haven't written much code that uses classes and calls their methods. The code in the test suite is largely the same code, but built in the last assignment. One key difference in addition to uh, of a describe function is that you'll be using assignment. <clears throat> Let's use the dragon class to have, to have ourselves a little dragon flight. Fight, complete the bottom half of the main function. First, describe all the dragons. So describe, print, boom, 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 boom. Okay, so next, make each dragon breathe fire with a... Last center of three three and pass all the dragons who were hits. Uh okay, okay, okay. So first describe all dragons, which I think I think they already did for us, so bull they describe it. Uh, next let's make each uh, dragon breathe fire with a blast center of three three. So 
Oh, I see. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so both. So we have dragons right here. So we say a four dragon in dragons. Let's see. So we could say dragon dot describe. Do I need to pass any of this in here? Or is this is this all going to be instantiated right here? Let's see. Dragon has no attribute describe. How do you mean? How do you mean? Four dragon dragons. We're building dragons here. Okay, let's just let's just print this right here. Nope. Okay. <sighs> Next, make each dragon. So I'm confused. Did they do the first step for us or no? I'm, I'm roughly confused. My brain hurts a little off that last one. So order matters for your solution. When the black dragon breathes fire, it should breathe fire. All the other dragons in this order. Green dragon, red dragon, blue dragon. Okay, so tips, copying a list, boom, boom, boom. We can use the copy, sweet, and paste or delete from a list. Okay, so first describe all dragons. So they look to be described here. Dragons equals dragon. They look to be built already. So I'm a little bit confused, right? Maybe we, we do this, right? Maybe, maybe that's how it goes. Okay, that makes sense. So we describe the dragons. Oh. So green dragon is at zero, zero. Next, make each dragon breathe fire with a blast radius. So let's see what we have in our class. Breathe fire. Looks like we get to pass in the position X and Y, right? So next, make each dragon breathe fire with a blast center of three and three. Pass in all the dragons. So we need to pass in all the other dragons as well. Uh, but we do need to remove itself. So so that's the interesting part. So this is where we're, we're going to have to delete. Um, so we're printed this list of dragons. And we need to delete the one that matches this dragon when we breathe fire on it. It can't breathe fire on itself, right? So that would that wouldn't make sense. That would logically break something. Uh, call describe on all dragons first, then have them breathe fire. Okay, so, uh, so we can copy the dragons... Which one, which one do I just need it not to be so dragons copy, say new list equals dragons copy. And the the new list I, I need is the dragon without this dragon, right? So we need to delete it next. So delete new list of this dragon and We'll pass that and dragons hit. I think I think that's what we need. Something like that. New list at this dragon. Oh, okay. So that would be we need to find the index of. Or I can say for i in length of dragons of zero to or range length dragons. Oh zero to dragons. We now have that. And I can do this right so that might might do it i think i think nightmare dragon is not defined so dragon what about dragon at i is defined dragon at this index describe dragons 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 boom let's try sweet i think i think that'll work i think that'll work no it didn't work bull bull <laughs> delete new list okay let's take a look see at what's going on so we'll say new list I, because I'm going to take a peek see at the solution. My head hurts after the last one. Dragon equals dragon's eye. So that's what we roughly did here. So dragon's dragon eye, boom. So that's good to go. Okay, so for I and range of this list, thought we were able to do that. Sweet, 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 sweet. So for I and range, boom. Oh, these need to be separate things. Okay, cool. But it looks like that works. So we just, we copy the dragons here. What I did, so new list of dragons equals copy. And then delete dragons. Uh, the new list. Yeah, so so we're, we're actually right on the money. It just needed to be separated. Sweet. All right. All right. That's perfect. So, boom. We'll just do this one and delete this and boom, bada, bang. Boom, bada, bang. It just needed to be separated. That's so sweet. Okay, so rectangles. Let's cruise on through. So, you discovered that working with Cardis and planes, you need to calculate the area of perimeter of squares and rectangles in various sizes. With a long list of shapes to process. Okay, so you, uh, let's see. So challenge, fin finish implementing methods of rec rec rectangle and square. Classes, keep in mind that a square is just a rectangle where the length and width are equal. Shouldn't have to duplicate anything. Okay, so. Ha, 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 ha. So we'll say self.length equals length. These these feel a little bit easier. That that one with the Cardison plane just 
pour, pour some brain power up, right? So get area equals self dot length times self dot width. Believe that. Okay, get perimeter. Oh, let's see. So get perimeter. What does it mean by get perimeter? Like the, the distance of all, all the things on the perimeter? So we want self plus uh, plus width, and we actually want that again. If it's the distance, to see self dot length equals, we can actually say super, and that's, and then we can pass in length. I believe. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Basic one argument: the width. Well, we're not really given the width here. So, oh, well, the width would just be the length again. Duh because the width and length of a rectangle are the same. Okay, so, so let's see where we failed. Expected parameter 12 got none. Okay, so we need to return these. At the very least, let's get the area, right? So boom, actual area, boom, we pass that one, and then let's return the perimeter. Let's see if this will work. Nice. All right, we're dialed. We're dialed. Gas cost. Woo! Let's, let's cruise, let's cruise, let's cruise. Okay, so boom, we got gas cars, vehicle, car, truck. Constructor max speed efficiency accepts two parameters. So we need to initialize this self max speed. So let's say self, oh, let's say self dot max speed equals this guy's my head still. It like actually hurts, which, which doesn't happen very often. Doesn't happen very often. All right. So both self speed efficiency, get trip cost. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So we got the distance and the fuel price so i imagine we just need to multiply what's the efficiency is that the the miles to the gallon ball okay that's all we need here so calculate this distance efficiency times fuel price that'll work but we need to say self dot efficiency cool i think that'll work for that get cargo volume Ooh, ooh, ooh. what do we have here for cargo volume get cargo volume this class should be left in use the pass keyword child classes will override this method. Awesome. Okay. So we can override. That's awesome. I was just learning about that solidity. You got virtual functions. You can override them. So this is cool. This is really cool for me. Okay. So get trip cost. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. So get trip cost, self distance inheritance or fuel price. So how do, how do we do the truck class? Let's see. I thought we were going to overwrite the uh, top one, so get cargo volume. Let's see what we got here. So this is where we're going to do the override. 